Hello guys and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here thank you so much for joining me today I'm going to be filming a huge H&M haul. First of all I just want to say if you hear any banging or anything I do apologize I'm going to try and not film while the banging is going on but our neighbours are currently having their roof done so there's some random banging so if you do hear that I do apologize so much. I'm going to show you what I've got really quickly in the box just to kind of give you a little teaser to see whether you'd be interested in watching this video and then we'll get straight into the unboxing and trying on and showing you everything that I got. So this is my huge box I've got from H&M. So this is all the stuff that I've got and there's literally, it's, oh my god I'm holding up my foot, there's literally so much stuff in here so we have a lot to get through. So I'm not going to let the intro drag on, we're going to get straight into it. So if you'd like to see what I picked up in H&M, then just keep on watching. Just getting all my paperwork together so that I can tell you how much everything was and what size I got it in. Okay, so the first thing I picked up is a pair of mom jeans. Now, I don't actually own a pair of these and like literally everyone owns a pair, so I can't believe I don't actually own a pair. And the ones I picked up is this gorgeous pair of denim like washed out jeans and they are gorgeous. I love the colour of these. There is a lighter pair, I think, but I went for this um colour which was just slightly darker but I really really love the colour of them. I think they're so nice and they don't have a zip or anything. To do them up here it is just all buttons. They, they don't have any tears in them or anything and the bottoms are these kind of torn off bottom jeans. And then on the back they have pockets. They are the straight leg ones, so I didn't want any that were too fitted. I really wanted some kind of wider leg, comfortable ones. But they fit really, really nice around the top. And then they are much looser on the leg. And I like that. I think it looks quite nice. I think that's the style that mom jeans are supposed to be. But I've noticed that some of them are kind of still quite tight. But these are like your proper mom jeans. So they're nice and fitted around the bum and waist area. But the legs are wider. Um, so the waist for me, it fitted perfectly around the front. I was really happy with like how it looked around the front but then at the back it was a little bit loose for me which was a little bit annoying um but obviously you can just pop a belt on or do one of those tricks with the shoelace and like draw it all in and they definitely do fit fine but there is that little bit of a gape at the back when you sit down in them and you know move around they're really really comfortable so i definitely think they're a good pair and they feel lovely thick denim they're not like they don't feel like cheap denim or anything like that they do feel like a lovely thick quality denim. So I picked up these in a size 8 and these were 19 99 which I think is such a good price for a pair of jeans. I have been looking at getting some from ASOS uh, which the ones I was looking at were like I think they're like the Farley jeans and they're like 30 something pounds whereas yeah these are 20 pounds and I'm so happy with them. I will link everything down below, wherever I can find in stock. If something's not in stock, what I'll do is I'll just try and find something similar. Maybe it'll be in a different colour and I'll still link it down below. Um, but I did notice that even as I was buying stuff from H&M, stuff was going out of stock, which was a little bit annoying because a pair of the shoes I actually got was to go with an outfit, but only the shoes were available and they only sent me the shoes rather than the other part of the outfit. So yeah, I do have a random pair of shoes that don't really go with anything in my haul, but I'll still show you them anyway. So next up, I picked up this basic strap top, which looks like this. It's a lovely square neck crop top and it has these straps on it kind of a little bit like spaghetti straps but a little bit thicker so this is a lovely strap top the only thing is it's a little bit thin so you can't wear it and it's see-through so you can't really wear it without a bra i'd want to be able to wear this sort of top without a bra underneath in the try on clip you'll see that i am actually wearing like my sort of crop top underneath it um which was black so it's not ideal but I like to be able to wear these without a bra and with this I just wouldn't be able to do that. Um, so for that reason I probably won't keep this one I don't think, although these were only 2 99 each and I bought two of these and I bought them in a size XS. So I did also pick up a black one. So this is the black crop top and I actually prefer the black one a lot more. I don't know why because they are actually described as exactly the same top but the black one was definitely a bit of a stretchier material and it felt, it felt a little bit thicker. So this one actually looked a lot better. It definitely isn't see-through or anything like that so you could definitely wear this one without a bra if 
like me, you have a smaller chest and you don't really need a bra, this is ideal for that because you can actually kind of wear it without and it still looks really nice. And I love the length of these. It looks really nice up against high waisted pair of jeans, like with the mum jeans that I'm styling it with. Yeah, they're just a really good basic top. And like I said, they're 2 dollars each. So it's kind of a no brainer just to grab a few of these. You could throw it on with a pair of jeans and pop like a shirt over the top of it and that would look really cute. So yeah, definitely love these. But I think I'll probably just get more of the black ones because like I said, the nude one was still a little bit see-through for me. So the next thing I picked up is this really cute little t-shirt with a love logo on it which when I saw this online, I just thought this is lovely. Like the color of it, the tiny little logo on it. I am quite plain. If you see my other hauls, I don't tend to go for anything too colorful, bright or logo-y. But I thought this was really nice because it's just a little white logo on there. It says love. And I just thought what a nice little t-shirt just to throw on with a pair of jeans or if you get this in a bigger size. I think they didn't have many sizes left, which is why I did get this in an XS. I did want a large one to kind of wear over some cycling shorts, which I've got coming up in a minute. Um, but unfortunately they didn't have so I just got the size XS which is still great because it does fit me absolutely fine um, and I just paired this with a pair of jeans and just tucked it pulled it up a little bit just to crop it um, but yeah you can see here the length it normally is it's not a long top at all but yeah I just thought that it's actually a really nice colour and yeah just to throw on with a pair of jeans a short definitely like a cotton a thinner cotton material so it's not really thick but it still feels like nice quality and this one was only 3 99 so yeah another bargain and another basic top just to add into your collection if I am at any point talking really fast in this video, it's because I have so, so many clothes and shoes to show you that I don't want this video to be forever long. I kind of want to be able to get through it, you see the clothes, decide whether you like them or not, and kind of keep the video moving. I don't want to be blabbing on too much. Okay, so next up, I have this pair of white trainers. Now, I've been looking for a pair of white trainers for ages. Not that I've been looking, I can't be looking that hard because there's white trainers everywhere, but I've wanted a pair, but they have this gorgeous snake print effect on them. Everything on them is white, so they're really bright, and I just think they look so nice with like lots of different outfits. On the inside of them, they are a nude shade, but I just think they are lovely white trainers, and they were really comfortable. Um, they fit well. I did get mine in a size six, and these were $19.99, which I think is a good price. They feel like a nice solid pair of trainers they're not like a plimsoll they're not flimsy they're really sort of hard wearing um the bottoms are kind of like this like a rubber bottom but i just think they're going to go so nicely with so many different outfits with the mom jeans that i paired them with or with a dress or with shorts or a skirt like a pair of white trainers like this is a staple for any wardrobe because it's just so versatile so yeah i'm really really happy with this pair of trainers so, like I was saying earlier, you could pop a belt on with those jeans. So I did pick up a belt. So I went for this one, which is a black leather belt. And I just thought it looked really nice and simple. The print on it is like that. So it's a very simple print, sort of like a soft matte effect, I'd call it, with this silver buckle. Now I did go for size XS in this, which is obviously their smallest size. Um, and I wanted it as a waist belt. It is described as a waist belt as well as like a hip belt, but it was still like not small enough for me. So even on like the smallest, um, you know, little hole, it still didn't like pull me in. So when you see it on the jeans, it hasn't like pulled the jeans in anything at all really it's kind of just on them to show you what it looks like but if I was to keep this um I would definitely need to put another maybe one or two holes in it just to make it fit a little bit better I do find this with waist belts like they're really hard to find ones that actually fit your waist my waist is maybe like 25 to 26 inch um so it's not like I mean I know it's a small waist but it's not like a really really small waist but still um yeah it's hard to find a belt so yeah this one still was a little bit big but it's lovely it feels great quality if this does fit you i think it'll look really nice it's a nice size it's a fairly thick one but like it's not too thick and it's not too thin so it's definitely a good size and everything feels really really great quality on it like i said i got this in a size excess and this was 12.99 so just bear in mind this is the leather one there were cheaper ones that aren't leather 
So next up, this is also an item that I've seen so many people wear, but I still haven't got any. So these are cycling shorts. Now I actually got a pack of two because they didn't seem to have any individual pairs. So yeah, I did get two pairs of cycling shorts. Now I'm not sure if these are the cycling shorts that other people wear that I've seen people wearing. I don't know because to me these are like really thin. They feel like, you know when you want to get like shapewear that you wear underneath a dress, they feel like that. They're kind of like that spandex material. They're really stretchy and figure hugging. But when I put them on, I realized they actually looked really nice and they looked a, a lot longer on than what they do on here because I was worried as well they were gonna be a little bit too short, but they actually come down to a nice length. I did wear these with underwear, but I think you actually wear them without underwear because they do have this like hygiene sticker here. So I'm wondering whether you'd be better off wearing them without underwear. But if you do wear cycling shorts regularly, please let me know in the comments below. Am I supposed to wear underwear with them or not? I do feel a bit weird not wearing underwear, but they do feel like underwear themselves. So yeah, but I really love how they look. And like I said, I did get two pair of these and they were 17 99 for both. And I did get them in a size small. I'm glad I did um, get them in a size small because they are very tight. So I would definitely recommend to size up. So I did actually pair them with this gorgeous beige plain t-shirt. This is an oversized t-shirt, or maybe I got a big one. No, this is an oversized t-shirt. So this is actually in size XS, but as you can see, it's very oversized. I did actually want to order this in a large, but they were sold out. They were sold out of so much stuff. Um, so I really hope that if you do see any of these items and you want to purchase them, I really hope they're still in stock. Obviously they replenish their stock quite a lot, so hopefully it's back in stock. But I absolutely love the colour of this. It, it is described as beige, but it's like a soft grey beige, I would call it. It's really nice and it goes so nicely with the cycling shorts. I feel like I'm doing that look that people do and it looks kind of, it does I think look put together. I also put it on with the white trainers just to kind of make a whole outfit. And yeah, I think it looks put together casual, but it's so comfortable. Like you could just so easily just wear that all day in the house. You'd be super comfortable, go for a dog walk. It's really comfortable. There's so many kind of things you could wear that outfit for and I really love it. So I can see now why so many people do this kind of outfit style with the cycling shorts and a t-shirt or a jumper uh, because yeah, it's super comfortable. Like I said, I got this top in a size XS and this was 6 dollars So again, another kind of wardrobe essential this is from their basics range and yeah i'm really happy with it the quality feels great when it's on it's not see-through or anything it's really comfortable lightweight but feels quality and kind of the air can get to you and it's just a really comfortable top so then i wanted to try a jumper out with the cycling shorts so i picked up this nude colored jumper from h&m and again i love it it's really nice it's a very basic jumper um i got this in size medium i probably could have got it in a large or extra large actually because even though it's slightly oversized on me it's not like massively oversized and i kind of wanted it to be a little bit longer on the cycling shorts uh, but again i just started up with the cycling shorts and the trainers and i think it's really nice the quality of this is lovely around the neckline here is really nice and thick and then you have this little bit of detailing just there on the neckline which looks really nice and if you can see that there but you do have a seam going down the back as well but it kind of just gives it a little bit more of an expensive look and then at the bottom again it's this nice thick quality material and um, just like finish off the hem of the jumper and the same again on the sleeves kind of drawn in a little bit but yeah a really nice basic jumper you get so much wear out of this really nice color and also these colors are great like you know if you wear foundation you get it all over your top you just wouldn't even notice it on this you'll just blend in so that's ideal really happy with my little cycling short tops and jumpers and yeah i think it looks cool so I got this sweatshirt in a size medium and this was $12.99. So I think it's a really good price for that. So next up, I was super excited. When I saw this online, I thought, yes, I really want that. It's so cute. So it is a cashmere set. It's a loungewear set. You do have to buy them separately and it is quite expensive. Um, but basically you get this pair of shorts um, in this gorgeous nude brown colour and then to match it you get this cute little cropped hoodie 
in again in this lovely colour. I think what drew me to this first was the colour of it, it's so nice and then when I saw it was a cashmere um, set I was really happy about that because I've always wanted like a cashmere set. These shorts however were quite big, I did pick this up in a size 8 both pieces but the shorts were quite wide um, but you, they do have a drawstring on them so you can just sort of pull them in to like nip you in at the waist which is what I did. And they're lovely, like they're all loose on the bottom, so everything feels comfortable, nothing rides up or goes tight. So I do like it for that. And you do have pockets here, which is also another bonus. I love a pocket, and it's nice to get them in a pair of shorts. However, the top, even though it is a cropped top, it wasn't cropped enough, I don't think. It kind of covered up, like the shorts are quite high-waisted, um, and it kind of covered up the top of the shorts. I would have preferred if it kind of sat just above it and like made you look a little bit more shaped. I know it's only lounge when I know you're just lounging around watching Netflix in it, but still, I really like that when it kind of makes you look a little bit curvy. So I was a little bit disappointed with it because they didn't really kind of fit together that well, I didn't feel. But separately, I think they would be lovely as well. Like you could just wear this one, definitely you could wear this out with a pair of jeans. Um, it does have a hood on it. The hood is very thin. Uh, the actual set altogether is not a thick set. Like cashmere isn't a thick material, but it was quite expensive. And I'm not sure I'm entirely sold on it. I don't know. It just, something it just wasn't working on it for me. The reason I kind of really wanted these to work is because they were so expensive. The shorts were $34.99 and the top was $39.99, so altogether that's like £75 for the set. So for me it has to be perfect for me to pay that price. I did just double check the sizing that I bought and I didn't buy an 8, I bought a small. Maybe I should have got an extra small, but I thought because it was loungewear I didn't want it to be like too tight, so that's why I went for the small. But I would definitely say like the small is more of maybe like a size 10 to 12. If you're looking for a comfortable loungewear set and you want a short one, like I'm not going to lie, this is so comfortable and it feels great quality. The banging is driving me insane. I would definitely recommend them though, and the colour is absolutely stunning. I haven't seen this colour on a loungewear set with any other kind of companies, so if you like this colour and this price is not too much for you, then you will enjoy this. It's definitely comfortable, it's definitely good quality, and it does look really cute. I just wish that the top was a little bit more cropped, but perhaps if I'd bought the size extra small, it might be a bit more cropped, but I've got a feeling it still wouldn't quite fit in the right place. So next up, I've got this gorgeous utility dress. Now I love utility, I really like shirts, shirt dresses, like jumpsuits, I really really love that style. So I picked up this gorgeous beige shirt dress and I am in love with it, it's so beautiful, the material is lovely, it feels great on, it's so light and airy and comfortable. It's got a sort of v-neck on it with these gorgeous little tortoiseshell buttons. And it's a lovely length as well, like it is a bit of a mini dress but it's sort of just above the knee but I just thought it was a really flattering length. And you have little pockets as well just on the thighs here which I thought was a lovely touch and it nips you in at the waist and it comes out so it gives you a lovely shape. And it has short sleeves and then it has this little tie so you can tie up the waist and really kind of nip yourself in at the waist. I just thought it was an absolutely stunning utility dress. Oh and also I forgot to say the utility dress I got in a size 8 and it was 19 99 and it was definitely the perfect fit so this is very true to size. And from the try on clips you've probably seen what I've paired it with but I paired it with this gorgeous pair of shoes. So these were the next thing I got in the haul and these are these gorgeous little cream wedges. Now I saw these online and I was like oh my god they're so cute. It was the little kind of frilly bit here that like drew me in. I just thought how nice is that? It just made them look really soft and girly and summery and I love this kind of woven bit on the wet protection bit on the toe here which looks really nice. The colour of them is lovely. They're kind of like this canvas material. And then here you have like the buckle and again it's all the canvas material up here and then inside it's just a little bit nude here. But I just thought they looked really nice with the utility dress as a little outfit. 
Um, I got these in a size six. And for these I paid $24.99, which I know is maybe a little bit more expensive. Like the other pair of shoes I got was a little bit cheaper. But I still felt like $24.99 was a good buy for these. Now I went for this woven bag. I've seen a lot of people with these woven bags and they just look so cute with so many different outfits. But unfortunately this one was not quite what I expected. It's still cute. It's more of like, I would say like a beach bag. It is gorgeous. It's got this lovely pattern on it and it is a woven bag with these kind of faux leather brown straps on it. And I love the circular shape of it. It is very pretty, but it just feels cheap. I'm not gonna kind of sugarcoat it. It feels really cheap. The inside is like this. Um, just this kind of like waterproofy sort of material. I don't know if it is waterproof, but that's what it feels like. It does have a zip compartment here with the little brown kind of zip bit on it, which looks fairly nice. But honestly, this doesn't feel good. And I paid $24.99 for this, so I kind of expected a little bit more quality. I do think though, if you were to take this to the beach and just chuck your towel in it, bikini, it would make a really nice beach bag. But for like an outfit, it's definitely a little bit too big, starters. I didn't really realize the size of it when I bought it online. You couldn't really use the top half of it because it doesn't have a zip or anything. So everyone would just kind of fall out of it. I don't hate it, but I definitely wouldn't recommend it. I think you could probably find something just as nice, if not nicer, for a cheaper price. I do think that £25 for this is a little bit much. The strap also feels quite cheap. It's not sturdy. When I was wearing it in the try-on clips, the strap kept falling off my shoulder. But as you can see from the clips, it does look nice. Like I don't like I don't think it's terrible, but yeah, just a little bit disappointed with this one. So with the utility dress, I also paired this really cute little pair of strap sandals. They are this gorgeous olive green colour and they have a square toe and they're like a suede. I just thought they were really pretty. I am loving these kind of square toes at the moment, and because they're kind of this short block heel, they'd be really comfortable. I just paired them with the utility dress because I thought that looked really cute. And these are slip-on, so you don't have any buckles to kind of mess around with. You can just slide them on and they're really comfortable and easy to put on. They didn't dig in or anything. I did get these in a size six, that's my usual size. They're very true to size and I paid $17.99 for them, which I think is a very reasonable price. They feel nice and heavy and good quality. So yeah, I'm really happy with them. Just disappointed that my dress that I chose to match them didn't arrive, but that doesn't matter because they're still a lovely pair of shoes. Quickly moving on because my battery is now very low in my camera. So many clothes. Don't wanna have to recharge it, so we're gonna keep going. So next up, I've got this dress. When I saw it on the model, I was so excited because it looked absolutely beautiful, but this side of dress is not something I'd normally go for. But when I put it on, I absolutely loved it. So it is this kind of V-neck silky dress. It's quite long. It sort of goes down to the knee and it's in like three sections. So it's definitely not a fitted dress. You'll definitely be able to see this more when I show you in the try on clips. But it has these lovely kind of bell sleeves. It pinches in at the wrist. It's got a little button on it and it's this gorgeous pink silk and I absolutely love this dress. It was so comfortable, so lightweight. It just has buttons going all the way up it. So they're kind of hidden behind this little material flap, but yet yeah, it is all, I'll just show you, it is all buttons, you can see there. And yeah, it's a V-neck. So it's kind of got a little bit of a shirt dress vibe to it, but then it looks a little bit more going out. But you could definitely wear this during the day with like a pair of, maybe even a pair of trainers, flip flops to kind of dress it down. But if you put this on in the evening with a pair of heels, it would look so cute. I did pair it with the wedges that I picked up earlier and uh, I thought that looked really nice, but I definitely think like a pair of nude, high strappy sandals would look so nice, like with your legs all nice and shiny. Um, yeah, I just think it's lovely. And the color of it is beautiful. I'm so happy. I did pick this up in a size eight and I feel like it fitted perfectly. It's not supposed to be fitted it is a nice loose dress which is not usually my style but I really enjoyed trying something different actually and this dress was $19.99 which again I think is a really good deal it feels great quality it's not see-through and it's super super comfortable I just thought it looked really nice with those wedges and then I also styled it up with the bag just to kind of show you it with that bag as well which I think it looks nice um, but yeah I can just see this out for the evening, on a date night, with some strappy heels, some nice glowy makeup, your skin all nice and glowy. 
and uh, yeah I just think this would look absolutely beautiful some nice gold jewellery with it even silver jewellery actually would go very nicely but yeah super happy with this piece as well okay so I'm going to move on very quickly because my battery is about to die any minute now so the last thing I picked up is this black and white dress. Now this is another V-neck dress, but it does have puffy sleeves. Oh, where's the sleeve gone? But it does have puffy sleeves. So I wasn't too sure because I do have another top with puffy sleeves, which I've been wearing and I've kind of decided I don't suit puffy sleeves. So I wasn't 100% sure on this one. So definitely let me know in the comments down below what you think. But it was lovely. I love the Czech style of it, the black and white style. It can go with so much. Again, you could wear it for day or night with a pair of trainers or heels would look so nice. Um, and it has this little strap around it to kind of nip you in at the waist. And I did really like the skirt on this. I thought it was a really cute kind of skater style skirt. So it has a lovely shape to it and it looks really pretty on. The low cut was quite nice. It wasn't too low, but it was low enough that you kind of get away with the the poofy shoulders. I think with the top that I wear with the poofy shoulders, because it's high neckline as well, it looks a little bit too much up here. But because this is low and V-neck, the puff sleeves do kind of even that out a little bit. So yeah, I thought it was lovely and just a really nice, easy piece to wear. It's again, a very nice material. It's thin, but it's not see-through. It's very comfortable, lightweight for the summer. It does that completely with a zip at the back. So yeah, it's very easy to wear and it's not too tight or anything. It does have kind of like a bit of a thicker band around the middle of it here. It's not my favorite. I think after wearing that silk pink dress, that's definitely my favorite. But this I picked up in a size eight and this was, oh Lord, my battery's gonna go. How much, where are you? Black and white dress, black and white dress. V-neck dress, 19. That was, was it? 12.99. So this was 12.99, so a little bit cheaper than the other dresses. So actually, I think that's a really good price for that dress. So that has brought us to the end of the haul. I really hope that you enjoyed watching my haul and everything I picked up. I hope that I did get a good variety of stuff and it was kind of something for everybody. If you did enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe down below. I love doing hauls. If there's a particular haul that you want to see, please leave me a comment and I'll be happy to do that. But yeah, definitely come over and subscribe. I do clothing hauls, makeup videos, skincare videos. I've done a few vlogs. Um, Amazon hauls, anything like that, anything shopping. I'm obsessed with shopping at the minute, like everybody in lockdown. It would be lovely if you would join me on my channel. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye.